What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the most expensive video games that I have sold with me being a reseller. Some of these have come from eBay and some of these were actually sold locally on Facebook Marketplace, Kijiji and other sources. So let's get straight into this. So I'm going to start with the lower end stuff and work my way up to the most expensive video games. So starting off, we have for the PlayStation 2, Dukes of Hazard: Return of the General Lee. This game here sits at about $35. That's what I tend to sell it for whenever I find it. Now that does include if it has the manual, no scratches on the disc, and overall everything is in perfect shape. $35 for this game is pretty fair. I do see them going for a little bit higher at times, but typically I do sell them for $35. Next up, we have for the NBS, Kirby's Adventure. This is one of my favorite NES video games, if not one of my favorite retro video games of all time from back whenever I used to play the NES as a kid. I absolutely love this game. This game here, just for the game itself, not including if you have the manual, and the box that it came in, if it's complete, it's obviously worth a lot more, but just the game itself is roughly $40. That's usually what I sell it for, and I even have one in my personal collection that I decided to keep after picking up different lots and stuff like that, so really fun game. Next up is going to be for the 3DS, and that is Pokemon Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby, just as the cart only, which is typically how I find this game with it just being the cart, not the case and everything. Just the cart only. Each of these is $40, which to me is pretty insane. They do hold their value. Of course, if you have the case in that, it is worth a lot more, but normally I find it with just the cart, and typically I sell them for around $40, sometimes $45 depending on the overall condition of each game. Next up, we have for the PlayStation 2, one of my favorite games for the PlayStation 2, and that is The Simpsons Hit and Run. This game here, a while back, I was selling it for around $50 or $60. Right now, usually it's around $45, maybe $40 is typically what I sell it for. Now again, this is a game that does fluctuate, but for the PS2, in my opinion, that's the higher valued one. If it is complete with the manual, the case, and the game has minimal scratches on it, usually you can expect to get around $40 for this game. Absolutely love it. It is a great game. Next up is going to be Pokemon for the uh, Game Boy Pokemon Blue, and that's just for the game itself is $50. Even if the label is in rough shape, it is $50, which I find to be insane because I do see a lot of them that are around that or a lot more, but typically I do find them and I do sell them for $50 for that game. Next is another 3DS game that is Fire Emblem Tales. Next is another Nintendo 3DS game that is Fire Emblem Fates Birthright. This game here completes with the game, the case, and I believe it came with a manual. Uh, I usually sell it for around $50, which is a great price. So if you see this one out in the wild and you are a video game reseller, it definitely is one to pick up. Some people do know the value, unfortunately, so they're usually charging around that. But you can find them for cheap like I did, and you will expect to get around $50 for that. Next is going to be for the NES, that is the Mario Bros. 1, 2, and 3. These games here, all three, selling them together is usually what I do because that gets the most money out of it. And usually you can sell all three together for $70, and that's just for the cart only, not if it's complete or if it has everything else with it. Just the cart only, $70 if you bundle all three together. That is typically what I sell it for, and that is a great deal and awesome to find that out in the wild. Some people just have them for $15 each, I find, but if you bundle them together, you should be able to get around $70, and that's usually what I sell them for. Next is going to be two PlayStation 3 games. Both of them are Spider-Man. We have Edge of Time, which sells for $75, and we have Shattered Dimensions, which also sells for $75 for a PlayStation 3 game. Now, sometimes if it is complete with the manual case, and the artwork is phenomenal. There is no scratches. Sometimes I see these going for around $100. Typically, I sell them for around $75. Not only does that make them sell a lot faster than listing them for $100, but usually that's usually what I get out of them. 
which is a really, really fair price. Sometimes you'll see them for around $50, but they're a little scuffed up and marked, and it has a ton of scratches on it. If it is all clean and everything and includes the manual, you should expect to get $75, which is typically what I sell those games for. Next, we have for the Game Boy Advance Pokemon Emerald, which is $100 if you can get an authentic one. Now, for this, for all the Game Boy games, especially Game Boy Advance, there is a ton of fakes out there. Unfortunately, if you do get a fake, you can still sell it as a fake, as a reproduction, but you're not going to get anywhere near the $100 for it. You're going to get likely around the $5 to $7 mark, which is usually what I sell the reproduction games for because the only way somebody is going to buy, purposely buy a reproduction game is to just play the game for nostalgia reasons, but for an actual collector, they want the authentic one, which sells for around $100. But again, you have to do your research. You have to know that it is real whenever you're buying it, because a lot of people, if you see one on for about $40 or $50, you think you're getting a really great deal, and then you find out that it is fake, and it does happen to a lot of people. Fortunately, it has not happened to me yet, but always keep an eye out if you're looking for these Game Boy games and other games that are mass reproduced that there's a lot of ways to tell if it is a reproduction and to find out and learn how to tell the difference before going and attempting to buy those games. And the last game is actually for the Wii and that is the most expensive game that I have ever sold and that is Metroid Prime Trilogy, the collector's steel book edition which had all of the inserts, the game was phenomenal and everything else in it. This one here sold for $125 for a Wii game, which is crazy. So whenever I see Wii games, typically they're around $30 to $40 if it is Legend of Zelda, Mario, different ones like that. But this is one to keep an eye out for. The collector's editions, the steel books, and things like that. And of course, always doing your research, looking up soul comps and different ones like that. But this game here roughly sells for $125. Sometimes it's a little bit higher if it is in perfect brand new condition and if it does have that sleeve that is for it. But usually you can get $125, which is what I sold my copy for. And I have never found a copy since. So that being my most expensive game, that one is a shocker to me. But comment down below what your most expensive game that you did sell as a reseller is. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Please take care. Peace.